Now let's talk about something really cool in CSS and that's going to be the colors and we obviously already have co covered colors a little bit but let's dive a little bit deeper right so here what I'm going to say is that I'm going to say this is going to be heading one over here I'm going to say heading one and then we're going to have a paragraph or you know like this I'm going to say this is going to be paragraph and we're going to some some I don't know dummy text right and then over here what we can do is maybe we can create some uh, I don't know div right and we're gonna give it a I don't know we're not gonna give it a class we're just gonna have it a div right so let's go over here to main CSS and start applying the styles and one thing that I want to show you about the brackets right over here that there's this one neat thing right so if you right click it over here you see over here this quick edit right and if we press over here you can see that right away we can go to a CSS and we can actually give it a rule right and over here it says well there's no existing css rules that match your selection right click new rule basically what's saying listen there is no rules right now for this heading one right but if you want to add it if i click over here new rule you can see right away that i'm actually working in the style sheet right so again let's go back to the colors and remember for the colors we had actually two properties that we could use right and the first one was over here color right color that would be for the actual color of the text right and let's start working with the values right so remember that right now we were using all the time these values right we were using pretty much the name values right but that is actually only one of our options right so for now let's just leave it this way right so I'm gonna say this is gonna be this color right for this heading one and also what I can do is I put a semicolon over here, right? And I can keep adding properties that I would want, right? And just for sake of it, I'm just showing you that we can have as many as we want. We'll do the font size and we'll do it like, I don't know, 15 pixels, right? So we made it really, really small, right? But next one, let's do the background color, right? So that's another choice. So I'm gonna go over here and we'll say background color. Now for the background color, let's start trying something new. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say RGBA right which stands actually for red green and blue well, actually not rga rgb over here like this so what happens is we're actually given values right we have values from 0 to 255 so let's say over here i'm going to write that this is going to be like red 123 uh green is going to be let's say 100 and over here we're going to say that blue is going to be i don't know 180 right so if you're really good with colors you can tell what kind of color it makes right so another neat thing about brackets right see again we can right click it right first of all it shows us that this is kind of pinkish color and second again we have another quick edit over here right so if i have it over here let's go back to main css you'll see it better first of all you can see that we have the rule over here right First of all, you can see that this works, right? We only had to right click it over here and we actually added the rule right away to, to where we want it to, right? And if we would have multiple CSS pages, right? The main CSS or another style sheet, right? We actually could have chosen which one to use, right? But in this case, we had only one, so it right away went to that one. So first of all, we know that the rule is there. But again, back to this RGB, right? So let's say you don't like to guess, right? So what we're gonna do over here, we're gonna do a quick edit one more time. And you can see the nice thing about brackets. Now we can choose whatever color we want. I don't want this one. Maybe I want this one, right? So the basic things what we need to remember RGBA is that zero is going to be black over here like this. I can see that this is black, right? And the white is going to be 255, right? So over here, if I write two of them 255 or here like this, see what happens, right? Well, nothing, you cannot see anything because this is all white, right? So let's say if I would go back and I would apply the background color for the body over here. And again, let's use something like background color. And let's say that we're going to use something like, we can again, we can use the names, right? If we want, or if we want to get more specific, we can use something like hex colors, right? So first we have RGB, right? Which is for red, green, blue, right? But we can also write hex. And the way you write hex is going to be hashtag. And then you are saying you have numbers from 1 to 9. And then you have from A to F, right? So again, let's, let's I like this color. I use this color, right? So I'm going to say F15025, right? Now you can see, first of all, you can see that this is white, right? For the background color for the heading one, right? 
and over here you can see that this is going to be orange right and again we can do the same thing right i'm going to right click it over here quick edit and again we can check it out what it is right and we can change it over here we can change it over here now i'm going to talk about this opacity a little bit later right you can you saw that once i start changing this actual value over here changes to a right don't worry about this we're going to talk about it a little bit later again we cannot cover everything right but the main point is over here you can see what i was talking about right so we have the rgb values right which stands for red green and blue then over here we have hex colors right so if you change it to hex color you can see what happens right it right away tells you that it's 25 f1 uh, e, e1 right so that's going to be hex color now again we'll talk about this a little bit later hsla right let's just deal with these ones for now but what i'm trying to show you is that first of all you have two options well we already technically knew this right because we were working first of all we have the color right that we can change for the actual text and then we have a background color which we can change for let's say heading one right so let's make this a little bit prettier i kind of don't like that color much right so again you can memorize the colors and, and obviously for let's say for a twitter color or whatever there's going to be the actual hex values right so again if i go back over here and if we're going to go to google right so we can test this one out we can go over here to the google right and i'm going to write google.com blah 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 and i'm going to say hex color for facebook over here facebook blue right and you can see that these are going to be the hex colors and these are going to be rgba colors right i'm sorry rgb values right so if we go over here and if we're going to grab this guy over here like this right we're going to say copy and let's say for my whole document right well didn't didn't copy and paste it the right way over here i would want the facebook blue right so i'm going to save this and see what happens right so the whole background is blue so the main point is you have two choices one is going to be for the actual fonts and the other one is going to be for the background right so again for the whole body we're going to be using this way right so if we apply this color it's going to be for all of them right and you have multiple values to choose from you can choose rgba which is red green and blue or you can choose the hex colors right so again let's do with a paragraph let's do a color and just let's use the hexes right and since i like this color i'm going to do the orange one zero to five right so it's going to be orange and let's say for the background color we're going to apply the rgb and we're going to do the black one right so rgb over here and this is going to be zero 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 right so now we have the black one now going a little bit of front right i like to use this one also this, this is going to be the opacity and basically this is going to show how transparent it is right and this is going to be the fourth value right so you can see the rgba and the last one right so we place a comma over here and over here we have values ranging from zero to one so if i'm going to say 0 0.5 it's kind of hard to see right now but it actually what, what is happening it's the the black is not as black right so i mean as as, mo as long as it makes sense right so over here you can see that this black right is going to be very black and you know what let's just for sake of it let's put them side by side and maybe make let's make the fonts bigger right so let's go back to the uh, paragraph right and we're going to say font size 30 pixels right so let's make make it bigger let's make another paragraph over here right so we're gonna go over here let's say paragraph and over here like this and what i'm gonna say is that for the second paragraph let's remember the class and we're gonna give this a class like opacity right so we gave this a class so now we're going to be more specific and as you can see that as we're going to be moving on we're going to start implying few things that we already learned right it's not just going to be in one video we're going to learn one thing so we're going to go over here and what we're going to say that for a class opacity opacity all right we're going to do something else right and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to leave everything the same right so color is going to be the same the background color this is what we're going to change right and that's another thing that we can take away from css right so let me just copy this over here copy and paste it right and let's go back to this rgba right and what happens over here if i write over here 0 0.5 right 
0.5, right? So you can see that it's not as bright of the black because it's actually more transparent, right? Maybe let's take off this blue one because maybe then it's going to be easier for you to see, right? So basically this is what happens, right? So with this value, the last value, you're basically saying how transparent it is, right? So this is going to be full on black. And if I go all the way to zero, right, you can see that it's going to be completely white, right? Because the black is not going to be there. And if I go 0 0.1, you can see that it's starting to, to turn black, black, which is going to be a little bit grayish, right? So this is the RGBA at the end of A, right? But again, we're going to cover it one more time with opacity. But for now, just remember RGB and we have the hex colors, right? So this would be the hex color. And also there's one more thing, right? So remember over here about this paragraph, right? You can see that I have this over here property and the value and now over here this property. And you can see that even though I'm targeting over here this opacity, these two have stayed, right? So with the last rule, only thing I'm doing, I'm changing this one, right? The background color. If I would write obviously over here color, right? With the last rule, again, I would override this, right? So that's another thing that we need to remember. So this video was a little bit longish and we put a few things together. But this is what's going to be when we actually learn some stuff. We're going to be trying to connect the dots as much as we can.